what is going on guys welcome back to another video and i'm going to quickly make sure that we are muted and we are not um i'm gonna be a little bit quiet today let's move our timestamp thing here today and um two things as you can see um right here at the top of my awards i am in a new alliance and that is not just any alliance as you can see my name is there and I am the only one in my alliance. This is my own alliance um, I have created. And the name is up there, Generation X. So if y'all want to come and join my alliance, y'all are welcome to. Um, so that is um, really big for us. Because I was thinking, well, um, if I'm not... If I'm a content creator, why not make my own alliance? Because all the content creators that cover Jurassic World Alive are always making... Well, they have their own alliances. So today we are taking a huge step into the game. Huge step. And that is... Leveling up Tarbosaurus here. To level 20. And there is a very, very big reason for that. We get to see how much he costs to make his hybrid, Thordor. Now, Tarbosaurus um, will bring his crit chance up to 40%. So, it takes 40,000 coin, which we have. We have 51,000, so let's go ahead and do it. Oh my goodness. Look at his health. And we leveled up. Um, so, one time offer, yes, I would like to decline that. Where's my incubator? Boy, I'm supposed to have an incubator. Eh. Also, St. Patrick's Day is on the way, that's why the map looks like this. And the music has completely cut out, um, unsurprisingly. So... We're gonna go here. We have a maxed out. Well, he's not maxed out. He's not level 30, but he's maxed out to the level that we need to get him to. 2,000? Oh, I thought it would be 1,000. Because, like, what it does um, for some things is it takes 200 here. Like, for some creatures, it'll take 200. Um, for others it will take 50. Like, some it takes 100, and others it takes 200, and then 500, and then one, I thought it would be 1,000. No, it's gonna be 2,000. Uh, Tarbosaurus DNA to, um, start us for Thordor. But we are ready. We are starting a huge step, guys. Thordor is not one of the best. But... But is one of the best, like, damage dealers for raids and all that. It depends on what you use it in. I had to go and pause there if you noticed. And my game is lagging. Um, perfect. And also, we are working on another hybrid right now, which I think next video... Uh, we will be unlocking. As you can see here, um, Spine Onyx here is um, almost there. Only need 20 more DNA. And we will have probably one of my favorite uh, hybrids. I just need 50 minus 20. Nine, like 21 more DNA. So, I'm working on that. And... While we're at it, let's uh, go to this. Open this up real quick. Get 180 coin. Does nothing. And uh, one fight. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, we'll do our normal full legendary loadout. We'll go into PvP here. And I'm going to take my soggy sock off because it is very soggy. Um. And we're going to, as usual, start off with our super insanely fast Interruptor Gen 2, which will not 
easily untap this Jarvis source. Um, auto -win. Harvest Source gets a crit, it's kind of usual because he has 4%. They wanted to give you a good starter therapy um, just to start your life. There's that. Endoraptor Gen 2. Getting another hit off. Whoa, it, you have a crowd. Even with like all the speed I have, he uh, doesn't die. Or like I, I don't keep on my speed because I've added one speed up to the next. Concavenator. Uh, how good, everybody. Oh, he's faster. Oh no. Interruptor, no! You're gonna be one tapped. Oh, if he had gotten a crit, he might have been. Well, that's gonna be your last mistake, boy. So, we are not going to be getting rid of Alicinosaurus because of Thorodor, because um, Alicina evolves into Thorodor. He's the big one. Sinoceratops so DNA. Oh, good. We're gonna go ahead and activate. Ooh, wait, wait. What does this do? Draw green creatures toward you with the lucky. Green creatures. Like a Tarbosaurus. Okay, so. I mean, you could consider this kind of like teal color. Because Dracorex or Dracorex, however you say it. Like, oh, wait, yeah. I got, I leveled up, so now you don't do 18 in the middle hit, uh, I do 19. So, I can probably get, um, pretty high DNA for rare creatures. Ooh, I got an achievement, let's go. Uh, the new achievements giving me more coin, they gave me loads and loads of coin, so we're gonna do that. Um, so we're gonna let that run while we go into a tournament. Uh, not a tournament, but just a normal PvP. See if we can get our legend, a legendary loadout, first time on camera. Um, or on video. Dang, bro, it's been eight minutes already. Come on, load up. Alright, opponent ready immediately. So am I. Legendary. Gorgas suit is always. It used to be post Metrodon. Alright. Good luck, my friend. You're gonna die in one hit. So, I w something funny. I was battling a dude the other day, and he had loads of legendary creatures. And I beat him with post Metrodon. Which is insanely hilarious because my friend, like he had, well no, he didn't have common, he had loads of rare creatures. He had just like loads and loads of rare creatures. Ow. Um, but he just had loads and loads of high level rare and common creatures. And I looked at his own um, alliance, there are only three people. So I invited him to my Asia to join, so. Which I know is kind of wrong, but I'm going to tell you now, his leader only had common creatures. Screech at me, that's right. It would have been cool if like, they made like the revenge, like, um, deal damage when you do the uh, cloak. Which would be cool, I guess you could say. Um, Somebody. 
tells you good luck, Tyranno, if a source, and advantage rolls is good. It'd be cool if, like, you could look at profiles. story he had like just loads of high level rare creatures and we were like neck and neck um ooh, gold incubator ain't bad. and um he got so mad for losing I view this dude's profile eh, he's not bad I would say he's just now getting into the legendary game. Um, he's working on Indoraptor, actually. Let's check out uh, his alliance. I'm not going to invite him because, like, it's kind of weird. But I would like to see his leader. Tutan Ramen. That's hilarious. But, um, yeah. To see what we've drawn. Oh my goodness, bro. Yes, like I said, Tarbosaurus need it. I've been working for weeks to get that 700 or 75,000 Tarbosaurus DNA. 183. Could have been better. But, um, not bad. So, Thordor is going to be one of those creatures that is going to be difficult to get. I will tell y'all some of its abilities because I do know them. So, I'm going to go through creatures that um, have Thordor's abilities. Of course, it's going to have Fierce Strike. I think it will have um, an Armor Piercing Strike as well. Or maybe Armor Piercing Impact. It will have Fierce Impact with Fierce Rampage, which is the Four Claws, and Instant Charge. I think it's one of the only creatures, I think, with five abilities. Um, how many abilities do you have? You have four. So maybe the max is four. Uh, oh, another Tarbo? I'll take. So, this will be the last creature we dart. And... And, um, I'll hit you guys with the outro. Dang. Tundra. Okay. Not bad. So, if you guys enjoyed this video where we took a huge step forward into the game, I've been waiting and waiting and waiting to do so. I told y'all a few episodes ago that um, I was going to get Thordor very very soon I was going for it um, and it was just really really hard to do so we're working on it I saw some flickering why did what did I see flickering oh is it just y'all two down there I think it might be I swear I saw like some flickering like oh hey you can level this up but you don't know it but, um, yeah. So, that's gonna wrap it up. We've only got four creatures that we don't have, and those are the Apexes. I have seen almost, well, I have, like, every single creature I can get. So, next episode, I will be unlocking Spinonix, hopefully. So, I'll show you guys that cool creature. And, um, I will see you all in the next episode. Peace.